Hello, welcome to this next tutorial. Uh, we're going to branch out a bit today. I'm going to use Daz Studio and Affinity Photo. Now, uh, what I want to look at is canvases. So canvases in Daz Studio is a way of getting uh, render layers so that we can take them out and post work them um, much easier than, you know, just doing it from a, a PNG or something along those lines. So um, let's have a look. So the first thing I want to do is, uh, one of the things we could do with canvases is have the, a depth of field canvas. So to get that, I need to uh, select my camera first and make sure I'm on the camera tab. And on the camera properties here, I can turn depth of field on. So that will give me the depth of field data that I need you know, for this canvas. Now to uh, turn canvases on, we need to be in render settings and then advanced and on the advanced uh, tab you'll have hardware canvases and bridge uh, by default it shows hardware so i'm going to go over to canvases okay so i'm going to enable it by ticking this tick box and then we can add a canvas and depending upon the type uh, we have uh, beauty diffuse specular glossy emission uh, light groups environment light uh, lighting it's a good job I can read isn't it? Uh, alpha LPE normal depth distance material ID uh, shadow and ambient occlusion so I'm not an expert by any means in post work and what all of these could possibly be used for but I want you to know they're all here because you probably know better than I do uh, so for this one I'm going to stick to beauty and I'm going to turn on the alpha tick um, there because this will give me an alpha okay so to do a canvas I need to select some nodes and the easiest thing to do is to create a node list so if I click that and hit accept and then click on this little button here now I want to include everything that I want on this particular layer and for this one I'm going to want everything that's in and under Genesis 9 there we go that's all of that so it's just going to do her her hair and her clothes everything else will be excluded and if I hit accept on that that will build that node layer collection and now in nodes I can use drop down and select that list uh, ML1 NL1 sorry okay so I want two layers you know I want my background as well uh, so we can add the plus for a new layer um, canvas 2 beauty set the alpha on and then this time I'm going to do it a slightly different way I'm going to select the background and when I go to node here I'm going to create from selection and it will create me a node list automatically it's just two ways different ways of doing it and click accept Okay, so that's my two beauty layers. That's going to give me the render for each layer uh, with just the elements that I've selected. Um, and it will give me an alpha, which means I can blend between the two. Uh, another one I can add in is, say, depth. So if I add a depth layer, so click plus, switch from uh, beauty to depth. There's no node selection going on here it's just it's one layer okay so now uh, to do it now it's very straightforward you just press the render button um, and it will go through a render you know as per normal uh, it will take a little bit longer because it's calculating more than you know previously so I'm going to press the render button and stop the video and when we come back we'll have a look to see what we've got and how we can use it in Affinity uh, to get some effects going. So I'll talk to you then. Okay, so my renders has rendered and now it's time to save it out. Now, there's nothing special about saving out these canvases. It will do it automatically. Uh, so what I'm just going to do is browse to uh, my testing folder. Whoops, that's not the right one. Uh, where are we? Let's find projects. 
canvases there we go let's just create a new folder in here no we don't need a new folder we'll just select that folder okay and I'll call the render canvas test there we go so I don't need to change this this, this PNG is like is gonna save out uh, but that's not what we're interested in so when I save this and then go to my folder you will see you've got your canvas render there if I open that up we'll have a look see that's exactly what we expected to be but what we have in a little folder uh, called canvas test underscore canvases so whatever you called the foot the render whatever you saved the foot name out plus canvases on the end and this has got all of our exr files which is all the uh, the files that have got our render information in okay so uh, let me launch affinity now sorry I don't have Photoshop uh, I don't know how to use it I'm sure there's many many uh, people out there that know how to use uh, that better than I uh, so yeah sorry about that <laughs> it's not much more to say really uh, but I'm just going to grab these and drag them drop them into affinity there we go and I get the three files so we've got our depth file which seems to have nothing in it which is disappointing uh, we have our uh, beauty file for the character and we have our beauty file for the, um, the background so what do we do with them that's a good question I'm going to delete that one because it's useless to me and I'll figure out why that didn't come out later uh, so let's go here so bit of prep in layers I just need to drag the alpha here you'll notice I've got two layers RGB and alpha uh, they both look completely white at the moment um, on my alpha layer I'm going to right click on that and rasterize to mask and you'll see that that has masked below now and is just coming out with whatever is underneath which is this and then just to make it sensible I'm going to uh, merge oh sorry mask to below and that will group it in there and mask that out so now this RGB layer is showing nothing and that's because we need to add some adjustment to it and I'm going to adjust my exposure so I'm just going to put a default on there and give it a value of say minus 14 now nah, too much I think let's try minus 10 there we go that should be enough if I click off that there we have our figure back in all her colorful um, glory and I can adjust the higher I go with my exposure the darker and the lower I go the lighter there we go so we'll just get it to a point so I'm going to do that for the other layer as well so if I go to my layers I'm going to drag my alpha above right click and rasterize to mask and then right click and mask to below and then add an adjustment layer make sure I've got the actual color layer selected and exposure default and now I can slide this until it's roughly as I want it it's minus 12 might be about right there we go so now I want these both on the same layer so if I right click and well actually no I don't want to right click it I just want to drag it down onto that layer so it only affects that layer then I can copy this layer and go back to my other one and right click and paste there we go now we have them both together this exposure I'm going to tuck in there we go no that didn't tuck oh no it did tuck and I think I'll perhaps bring that above there okay so now I've got both my layers uh, together and I can adjust them accordingly so either with you know just the exposure so if I double click on this exposure here I can change the exposure until it's as I want it and that's say minus 
10 and let's do the figure one it's minus 13 let's make it minus 10 again so that they match so with both exposures at minus 10 that's what we get um, but I can of course adjust these independently to some extent to get the look I want and I'm going to want it much darker than this uh, so let's go to minus 14 and minus 14 on this one and then adjust there we go now I'm getting a bit of a haze around the hair which I'm not entirely surprised about um, but let's do some adjusting to make the background a little more uh, dark and gloomy and then I can take the exposure on the figure and either go dark and gloomy or make a really bright depending upon you what you want and then it's essentially down to your skill with post work <laughs> I'm not the best in the world by any stretch of the imagination I just wanted to show you how the um, the layers worked and how you know to combine them back together again okay so in the next bit I'm uh, between videos I'm just going to find out why my depth delay didn't work um, so I will talk to you in a sec okay so it turns out I'm not very bright um, I, I kind of already knew that uh, especially in terms of uh, this sort of thing 2d kind of post worky stuff um, <laughs> it was working all along it's just I didn't realize it was working because it wasn't showing me uh, it straight away so if I grab this depth here drag it into affinity it comes up white which is what confused me I'm easily confused as I'm sure you have noticed so I'm going to switch over to my tone mapping persona and once it uh it gets to where it's thing to talk about it yeah there we go now it's applying the tone map to our uh, exr and we can adjust it as we want so we have normal we have a detailed uh, we have a cool one which has got color in it which i don't really want and we have dramatic uh i think high contrast black yeah let's try that one okay so now I've got that done I can apply that and now I have a mask or you know or a layer that I can work with so I'm going to copy that layer and go back to my main image and then paste it in there we go and now I can switch the overlay so as I go through different overlays on this you'll see we get different kind of effects and I think oh, light definitely not oh, that's colorful just scanning down see which one I actually like oh, that's a bit psychedelic isn't it I'm sure I'll find it in a minute I oh, definitely not erase <laughs> or glow uh, negative no no we'll find it in a minute sometimes I have to go through just a few just to you know just to see which one I like uh, I have no particular science behind this because as I said it's not really my um, you know it's not really my thing uh, so color dodge that looks uh, like it's done a pretty good job it's got rid of the fringing around if I uh, hide this one see the fringing now I have no fringing so I'm very happy with that it looks a bit strange but never mind so yes I'm sure people with much 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 more post work kind of knowledge and now uh, than I uh, will do a much much nicer job with this technique um, but yes that's uh, that's how you do it that's how you get canvases out and how you use them in affinity sorry I don't know how to use Photoshop but uh, yeah there we go okay so that's canvases in Dad studio uh, I hope you enjoyed it I hope you found something useful and I will talk to you again in another tutorial whoops that's not stop <laughs>